this evening at a topic which uh, seems uh, on the side of it to be fairly simple, fairly straightforward, responding to one of a suit. Um, but there are some subtleties which we will talk about. So responding to one of a suit. Um, well, your first priority, if your partner bids a major suit, is to raise them, of course. So that's the first thing you're going to do. Otherwise, if you can't raise, support your partner's major, you will generally respond in your longest suit. And if you have two four card suits with which you might respond, you bid them up the line. You bid the cheapest suit first. So from where you are in the bidding, you bid the cheapest, make the cheapest bid you can without uh, jumping any bids um, if unless you need to, to bid the, the cheapest one, all right? Whereas if you have two five card suits or two six card suits, you bid the higher ranking suit first. So we'll look at some examples of that um, in a moment. And so for example, if you've got a minimum hand, say with six to nine points, if your partner bids a major, your first priority would be to raise a major to the two level with four card support. You could even raise a major to the two level with three card support uh, quite often, especially if you have some kind of um, good distribution like a doubleton or singleton. But um, very often your partner will expect you to have four card support. Um, if you can't do that, you will bid a new suit if it can be bid at the one level, if you only have six to nine points. Uh, if your partner bids a minor, your next priority is to raise a minor to the two level with four card support. Or the last option, if you can't do any of those things, is to bid one no trump. Uh, and that may not be a balanced hand, and that's your last option. So I hope this is pretty familiar to most of you. Um, let's have a look at some um, examples here. This is a hand where <clears throat> your partner opens one heart. And here your longest suit is clubs, but to bid clubs, you would need more like 10 points. So even though clubs is longer than spades, the correct response here is one spade. You bid your uh, four card spade suit uh, because you're not strong enough to bid two clubs. What if I had a slightly stronger hand? Here I've got a hand with the same distribution and four spades and five clubs. What should I bid here? Well, in standard ACOL bidding, um, you would respond two clubs here. You would respond with your longest suit here. Although there is a slight problem in that, because in certain bidding sequences, if you bypass that four card major, it is possible that you will miss out on an eight card spade fit if you respond to clubs. And the situation where that can come about is in a case like this. So let's suppose your partner has opened one heart and let's suppose you bid two clubs here. Well, what is your partner going to rebid? Your partner has a balanced hand with 17 points. So should be rebidding in no trump here. Now, if they had 15 or 16 points in standard ACOL bidding, they would bid two no trump. But with 17, 18 or 19 points, they would bid three no trump and your spade fit would be lost. OK, your partner should not, by the way, be rebidding two spades here. If they if they open one heart and bid two spades, that would show um, a five card heart suit. So um, your partner has bid correctly here in standard ACOL uh, by rebidding three no trump. So that is one um, that's a, one case where uh, bypassing the four card major and bidding two clubs instead of one spade can lead to you not finding a spade fit. And I hope you can see that on these two hands, you're probably going to be much better off in spades than you would have been in four spades 
than you would have been in three no trump in three no trump if the opponents lead a diamond you're going to have a bit of problem whereas four spades should be uh relatively easy to make you'll make more tricks than in three no trump i i believe so um what can you do about this you can either on this hand respond one spade instead of two clubs and there are, are that is a legitimate system if you like that you never bypass a four card major or in this particular bidding sequence you can also solve this problem by changing the point range of openers no trump rebids and in fact uh what a lot of people do is they extend the range of the two no trump rebid from 15 to 16 to 15 to 19. in other words they always with a balanced hand respond to no trump and they never would jump to three no trump jumping to three no trump here is a, is a very clumsy bid it takes up a lot of bidding space and it's also really not necessary because if your partner has responded at the two level uh, they should be having something like 10 points so anytime you have 15 points or more you should have enough for game so there's no real need to jump to three no trump so a very popular modification to standard echo if you like is if your partner responds at the two level to change the range of your two no trump responses from 15 to 16 to 15 to 19. that's a forcing bid and on a sequence like this it would allow your partner to say okay by the way i have four spades that i haven't shown in case we have a spade fit and you would end up in four spades on that one so that is one of the um issues about which suit to respond to and there is some advantage here if you don't have this modified two no trump range of always responding uh, responding one spade rather than two clubs on this hand. Tony, yeah. I can't see why you can't bid the two spades after your one heart, because it's a reverse. And if it's showing four spades, does it matter? Well, it's showing five hearts and four spades. Does it matter is the question. Well, your partner, <laughs> might, showing have, your partner might have three hearts and would then support you. And you might end up playing in a seven card heart fit. Okay. So no. <laughs> no? I don't like <laughs> you don't like you don't agree. No. It, I it, think if I'm showing four spades and my partner's got four spades, we'd be in spades. I'm oh, also yeah. showing but, but if I change if I change it. if I change this hand on the right to give you to give you only three spades and three hearts, if your partner had gone one heart and then you bid two clubs and then they bid two spades that would be showing a five card heart suit and yeah. you would support them in hearts yeah okay well um it, so 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 your partner it's should... gambling <laughs> sorry it's gambling gambling oh we don't like to gamble <laughs> anyway this is a slight I, I brought this up because it's a slightly awkward hand and it is uh, it is one of the situations where if you bid your longest suit uh, you can miss out on a spade fit here um, if if your partner jumps to to three no trump unless you use a different no trump range however I mean I I if you want to I do recommend you change your point range you know from the what you might have learned as a beginner to, to to no trump here I, something i know mr bridge recommends as well um and it, you know jumping to three no trump here is a very clumsy bid and it takes up a lot of bidding space so um but but there are different ways of dealing with this uh, problem and you can either respond one spade on this hand or you you can um uh you know or or, or you may risk uh, not finding a spade fit um Let's have a look at some other situations involving which suits to bid. And I've got a few polls coming up on this hand. Here's one where your partner opens one diamond. 
And I'd like you to think about what you would respond with this hand. So have a little think about it. And I'm going to launch a poll, uh, first poll of the evening. What is your response to one diamond with this hand? Gosh, those fireworks are getting loud. Okay, let's um, end the poll there. I always think that one of these days I'm going to get a unanimous answer, um, which I don't quite have here. Um, oh, sorry, I need to log in again. Let me just do that. <clears throat> um, and nearly all of you have said one heart, 93%, with a few people saying one spade or one no trump. And of course, you're right. Um, the correct response here is one heart. You've got two four card suits to bid and you bid them up the line. You bid the cheapest four card suit first. Um, and one no Trump would definitely be wrong. That would be showing six to nine points. Um, and two no Trump is also wrong because you may have a major suit fit that you'll never find if you, or probably never find if you've jumped to no Trump. Um, okay, so it goes one diamond, one heart. Now suppose your partner rebids two diamonds. And the second poll question is what are you going to bid now? Let me share those results. And this time, uh, two thirds of you have gone for two no Trump with 26% saying two spades and two people passing. So let's see what we think about that. We might just mute everyone if there's any echoing there. Well, let's think about it. Um, we've got 11 points here. Um, pass is a possibility, um, although your partner should have 12 to 15 points for this. Um, um, but one thing they will not have is a four card spade suit, because if they opened one diamond and you bid one heart, if they had four spades, they should have rebid one spade. So it's pretty clear that they do not have a four card spade suit. So I think the uh, correct bid there is two no trump. Um, your sort of inviting game, you don't have a great fit in, uh, in diamonds, you don't have a heart fit and you don't have a spade fit. So two no trump is really the right rebid there. Your partner will not have um, four, um, four spades on that bidding. So there's no real point trying to bid your second suit. Okay. What about this one? Um, here I've got two five card suits. And here again, your partner opens one diamond. And the third poll question coming up is, what would you respond with this hand? Okay, let's um, end the poll there. And most of you here have gone for one spade, 86%, with 14% saying one heart. And yes, that is correct. With two five card suits, you bid the higher ranking one. You bid one spade and not one heart. Um, so if you bid one spade, and suppose your partner now rebids two diamonds, you can now rebid hearts. You can now um, bid two hearts here. And bidding in that way, you're promising five or more spades and four or more hearts. So perhaps your partner will um, you know, support one of your suits there, but this is the, the correct way to show uh, to show uh, that you've got at least five spades. You can't show that you've got five hearts Im immediately. 
Um, but this is how you show five spades, uh, at least five spades and at least four hearts. So the, the suit you bid gives some indication of your, your shape. And, and this is uh, how you show a uh, five card spade suit. Tony? Yeah. Why do you bid four card suits up the line, but with this five, five, right. you bid the top first? Yeah. Well, um, I mean, you can take it as one of those things that you should just do, but the logic behind it is with four card suits, say your partner bids a diamond, if you each then will bid your four card suits up the line. You will find your an eight card fit um, as soon as you can, right? So if they bid one diamond, if you bid one heart, then you will find a, a fit in hearts if you have one, or otherwise maybe they'll bid one spade. Um, so you're looking for, you're, you're sort of trying to find a four, four fit. On, a, on the second hand, you can show different distribution by bidding your suits in a different way. So that would allow you, for example, to find a five three fit in spades by bidding the, the suits in, in this way, okay? So it, it's really so that you can, um, you can show different distributions by the order in which you bid suits is I suppose the order, the, the reason. And you bid the four card suits up the line because you want to find a four four um, fit, especially in a major if you have one. But really, you should just um, sort of get into the habit of doing it because that's what you're meant to do. Um, let's have a look at a um, few other um, aspects of responding to one of a suit. How many cards does it show when you bid a new suit? Well, in nearly all cases, it shows just a four card suit. So, for example, if your partner's opened one diamond, if you bid a new suit, either one heart, one spade, or two clubs, it's promising at least four cards in that suit. There are some people who seem to think that bidding a suit at the two level promises a five card suit, but that's not correct, really. Um, or if your partner has opened one spade, then bidding two clubs or two diamonds also show promises a four card suit there. Um, and the one exception is that if you bid two hearts in response to one spade, that is used to show five or more hearts. And this is true both in Eccol and in uh, standard American five card majors. Um, the two heart bid in response to one spade is reserved for a five card heart suit. And the reason for it is that in virtually all situations, if you only have a four card heart suit, you will have another four card minor that you would bid in preference to bidding the hearts. Because you bid your four card suits up the line, if you had, for example, four clubs and four hearts, you would respond with a two club bid. So we reserve the five um, the two heart response to one spade only. That's the only exact bidding sequence to promise a five card heart suit. And that means that your partner can support you if they have a three card heart suit. So that is a very useful thing to remember. So let's look at some examples of this. Let's suppose your partner opens one spade. As I said, on this hand here, you have two suits you could bid, clubs and hearts, but you bid your four card suits um, up the line, the cheapest one first, so you would bid two clubs with this hat. Okay. Any comments or questions on that? Now, there is one exact distribution where you will have a four card heart suit but no other four card suit. And it's a distribution like this. So imagine your partner's opened one spade here and you, your only four card, you can't really raise your partner's spades because you've only got three. Um, 
and you have no other four card suit your only four card suit is hearts but you should not bid two hearts on this hand because the two heart bid is reserved to show a five card suit so on this hand there are um in standard ACL bidding what you would do is respond um to no trump okay this hand is suitable for two no trump showing 10 to 12 points and um, a balanced hand but bidding two no trump or if you had a stronger hand but the same shape and, or bidding three no trump can often lead to you missing um, a trump fit in a major for example you may you may well have a um you know a spade fit or a heart fit here and it makes it harder to find it if you respond to no trump or three no trump so the alternative here instead of bidding two no trump is to sort of manufacture a bid of two clubs now two clubs here uh, your partner will treat it as a real suit um and you do actually have three cards but you don't have a four card suit but it will often lead to a better outcome if you bid two clubs than if you respond to no trump um so you should certainly consider on a hand like this rather than bidding two no trump bidding two clubs don't bid two hearts because that would promise a five card suit so that's one rule you shouldn't bend but you can bid two clubs on a hand like this in preference to bidding two no trump and the same applies if you're a bit stronger but with the exact same distribution so in other words here if your partner opens one spade and you've got 13 points the only legitimate bid you have if you're playing standard ACOL is to jump to three no trump you don't have five hearts so you can't bid two hearts and you've only got three cards in the other suits um and three no trump jumping through no trump is you know possibly missing out on having a fit in a major suit you may have you know a, an eight card spade fit quite easily or an eight card heart fit that you won't find if you jump to three no trump here so it's much better on this hand to just bid two clubs and then your partner will rebid something and hopefully you'll know where you're headed so i would recommend you bid two clubs on this hand much better i think than jumping to three no trump um, any comments on that yes yes sorry tony but wouldn't you be tempted to go four spades well what if your partner's only got four or three uh, spades three spades because on the losing trick count three spades again you might only have a seven card trump fit and three spades is invitational three spades is showing 10 to 12 points so because the one spade bid might only be a four card suit there really is no no good bid there that you can make if we rule out bidding two hearts which we should do because that is used to promise a five card suit um you're, you're better off to bid something else make a forcing bid which two clubs is and then your partner will um will bid something again all right i mean it could work out to jump to four spades and very often when your partner opens one spade they will have a four card suit but it, it will certainly be unusual your partner will be expecting you to have four card support to support their major bidding three spades or four spades okay thank you tony so i recommend on this hand it work, generally will work out much better if you bid two clubs rather than three no trump and i just want to sort of complete this section of the talk in how the bidding would go uh, after that so if you do happen to bid two clubs and you have a hand like this how would it go in various situations well your partner can't pass two clubs so if they bid two spades well now you know you've got to fit in spades so you jump to four spades or if they bid two hearts well now it looks like you've got to fit in spades as well as hearts um and 
you would probably jump to four hearts. You're better off in, in the four forfeit rather than the five three spade pit. If they bid two diamonds, what would you bid? Well, if they bid two suits, one spade and then rebid two diamonds, that should be showing five in the first and four in the second. So you should also jump to four spades on this hand. And similarly, if they support your clubs, that should normally be done with a five card spade suit and a four card club suit. And you should again go to four spades. There are some hands where they might have supported your clubs if they have a balanced hand, but there they'd probably be better off rebidding no trump. And if they do rebid no trump, showing uh, a balanced hand, then you have two options here. You could either bid three no trump, or it's still possible that your partner has got a five card spade suit, and you can show that you have three card support for him by bidding three spades now. That would be a forcing bid, and would, you would either end up in three no trump or uh, four spades. So this is uh, sort of one hand distribution that is a slight problem in response to one spade. And I think the best solution is, is the one I've got there to respond to clubs rather than uh, jumping to three no trump there, which could easily miss out on a spade or a, a heart fit if you have one. Sorry, Tony, can I just... Yes, Robert, you're... Yeah. Sorry, um, if you've got four spades and four diamonds... Yes. Do you open one spade on that hand? Okay. Um, so if you have four spades and four diamonds... Um, if you have four, 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 one distribution, um, you would never open a spade. Okay. You would always open um, the, the diamond. If you have four, four, three, two distribution, in other mm -hmm. words, a balanced hand, then the recommended way to bid that is to open one spade and then rebid no trump, show that you have okay. a balanced hand. So anytime you bid two suits, um, you should normally be showing five in the first and four in the second. Thank so you. that's why you can jump to four spades when your partner bids two, two dollars. Okay, thank you. Right. Okay, so um, that that was um, uh, what I wanted to talk about here. I just wanted to end by looking at um, a, uh, a hand and seeing how the bidding would go on this one. And here's one where North, your partner has opened one spade and East passes. And I've got the last poll question of the evening, which is what do you think South should respond on this hand? You'll have a little think about it. And I'm gonna launch the last poll. What should South respond to one spade? I'm going to end the poll now and let's share the results with you. And the majority here were obviously listening to me, and you've gone for two hearts, 88%, with a small number uh, going for the other bids, two diamonds, two no trump, or three no trump. Yes, two hearts is the right bid here, and that promises a five-card suit. So if we look at the north hand uh, now, north now can support their partner's hearts. North has got a minimum hand, I think, 1, 2, 3, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, um, and might just bid a, a minimum bid of three hearts, and then South would end up in four hearts on this hand. And this was actually a hand that was uh, played a little while ago, and when it was played, nearly everyone actually ended up in three no trump on this hand. They missed the heart fit they they didn't find their heart fit and four hearts is a much better contract than three no trump here in three no trump you could easily be in difficulty if the opponents lead clubs here um but four hearts should be a pretty good contract um let's have a look at how we're going to uh, play this in four hearts, we'll work out our look at our losers from the point of view of the south hand, but taking in all taking into account all the strength in dummy. Well, I don't think I've got any spade losers because I've got the ace. 
In hearts, I would normally expect to lose one trick there. I've got eight trump, but missing uh, five trump, including the queen and jack. So I probably will lose just one trick there. Um, in clubs, I've got one club loser. And in diamonds, I may have a loser, but maybe I'll be able to rough it. Um, so that's going to be my plan on this hand to uh, see if I can uh, rough a diamond, maybe set up the diamonds that way. The opponents lead a club and I win that with my ace. And I'm going to start by drawing just two rounds of trump. So hopefully the trumps divide evenly. So the king wins. And if the ace wins and everyone follows, there's now just one high trump out, the queen, and we're not going to draw it. We're going to keep, um, we're gonna, we've got that nine of hearts, which may be useful in roughing a diamond. So what we're going to now is leave trump alone and play on the diamonds. And we've actually got a, a chance to make all these diamonds. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the opponents have got six. If they were divided evenly, three, three, we could actually take all these, um, all these diamonds. So that's what we're going to try aim for. We're going to start with the ace of diamonds, winning in the shorthand, play another diamond back. And if we were able to, if the diamonds did divide evenly, we'd be able to discard, I think, both clubs on the um, on the diamond. So let's play another diamond and we discard a club. Unfortunately, on this hand, we get a um, uh, not such a great break. And if I bring up the four hands, you can see that um, East only had two diamonds. So they're able to rough. After this, they will probably switch back to a club, which um, you they take. If they play a spade now, um, you can win that one in dummy. And you've still got a heart here to rough a diamond. Your diamonds aren't good yet, but what you'll do is just come back to your hand with a rough, play a diamond, rough the opponent's uh, jack, and then we can come back to our hand and the four of diamonds is good. All the trumps have gone and we'll make um, 11 tricks there. So even if the um, even if the diamonds divide not so well, you can still make 11 tricks, losing just one trump and one club. As I said, nearly everyone who played this hand ended up in three no trump, and it didn't do very well. So uh, there's an example of a hand where with an eight card heart fit, you're, you're better off uh, playing in four hearts rather than three no trump. Anyway, that ends the talk. Does anyone have any questions on any of that?